Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So today's video is going to be about using USB burning tool to recover your MXQ SFR TV, bo TV box or one of these things. So I don't only really use this tool if your box just doesn't work at all. So if you plug it in, you power it up and just nothing happens, nothing displays on screen and that would be the moment you realise that yeah, you're going to have to use some sort of recovery tool to actually get your box working again. So what we're going to be doing is installing a tool called USB burning tool and then we're going to be using an Android image file to recover your box using a Windows PC. So we're going to be using a specific version of USB burning tool for the SATA 5 processor. So it's a type of era that the Amalotric um, released their processors, so the SATA 5, SA1, 2 and so on. So make sure you don't install the latest version of USB burning tool because it won't work. So this is quite a simple process actually. Um, the hard part is, is just getting USB burning tool to work with some PCs. Um, as you'll see that it obviously gonna work with mine but it might not function correctly with yours. I'm not sure why that is. I think Windows doesn't like it for some reason or some hardware doesn't like it. It will just be a case of persevering with it sometimes for some of you. Most of you it will just work absolutely fine. Some of you guys it might not unfortunately. Um, so let's move over to the first part where we're going to download the specific version of USB burning tool and then grabbing an image file. So just before we do that, I just want to make it absolutely clear that this is like a generic tutorial. The image file that we're going to be using in, in this tutorial might not work with your box. The best thing for you to do is actually contact your supplier for an image file. Tell them your box is broken, it's bricked and ask them for the Android image file for your box. Now that will be specific for your hardware, so everything on Wi-Fi, Ethernet and your remote control should all work with that specific version. Unfortunately, if you use our version, there's a good chance it won't work and might even cause more problems. So, with that in mind, let's move on to the first part. So hopefully you've got to this point with no issues at all. What you're going to need now is you're going to need a cable with two USB connections as shown. Now connect one of them into your PC's USB port and you're going to need a thin object like this and on the back of your box you've got an AV port. Now inside there is a little button and we need to hold that in probably able to hear that on camera, a little button clicking. It is, can be a bit of a pain to find sometimes. But hold that button any, in any way once you've found it and then apply the other side of the ca cable into the back of the MXQ box. So this is this one here. So this is USB 4. And then what should happen on screen is as shown. Now to go over that again, pop in your an object into the AV port like that, hold the button in and then apply the USB cable as shown. Now let's move on to the next part.
So hopefully everything has went okay for you. USB burning tools installed correctly and then the MXQ is connected and the image file is installed. Now the only thing you need to do now is turn on your MXQ and then allow Android to boot for the first time which might take a few minutes. Now unfortunately if you've had errors such as you've connected your MXQ box to the PC and it started to install those World Cup device drivers and it's got stuck just disconnect it, reconnect it and just try again a few times. It might take a few times for it to actually recognize it and then connect successfully. Once you've pressed start and started installing that image file you've got and if it does actually display any errors and unfortunately that image file probably isn't compatible with your particular MXQ hardware and you probably have to gonna go back to your supplier and find another one from them. Now, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you do get stuck, you've got the Facebook group, which we've got plenty of people over there that can help you. I'll leave all the links in the description. We've got the website. We've got the brand new forum. You can come and join over there. Now, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. And we shall see you in the next video.